Okay, so Clarissa Shields, T-Rex, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, because <laughs> she be on that feminist shit, says that she can knock out Amanda Nunes, okay? Let's see what this uh, boxing scene article says today. It says that Nunes is now being regarded by most as the best female MMA fighter of all time. While Shields admit that she wouldn't do very well in the UFC's octagon, she is very confident in her chances to knock out Nunes if they squared up in a boxing ring. They are calling her the greatest MMA fighter of all time. Not the greatest fighter. I'm the GOAT. The greatest woman fighter of all time. She ain't been to no Olympics two times. I've been on top of the world two times. And I'm not putting myself against Amanda because we're both women athletes. Actually, I praise her like I praise Chris Slyborg. Shields told TMZ Sports. She's the greatest woman fighter in MMA. I'm the greatest woman fighter in boxing. And if we were to fight, I would win. That's what I think. In MMA, I wouldn't win. I can't wrestle. But in boxing, yeah, I would win. Amanda Nunes would go to sleep. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, number one, I got to say, for a person to get up on stage at countless boxing events talking about how women have to stick together because women don't get paid a lot and how it's really us versus them and she's fighting two fights not just against her opponent but against uh, males in boxing and the way females are being treated. For her to have that stance and yet for her to come out and basically try to snatch or crap on Amanda Nunes' uh, rise or fame or popularity now is a direct contradiction to all that crap that she was talking, which just let me know it was just BS in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It's just a reason to get some attention to something like that. Here Amanda Nunes is getting her shine on, as she deserves. And here comes Clarissa Shields talking about who she would knock out. The truth of the matter is, if you have not picked up on it by what I just read, she's hating on Amanda Nunes while trying to claim she's not hating on Amanda Nunes. And then she said she's not looking at it competitively because they're females. That's exactly how you look at it. Keep in mind, Clarissa Shields is the same female to say that she would beat Manny Pacquiao, uh, Keith Thurman, um, Errol Spence Jr., and everybody else. You know. And with that being said, let me be the first to tell Clarissa Shields and everybody else in case they don't know, okay? The best female fighter, boxer that is, is not in boxing. Let me say that again. The best female boxer is not in boxing, okay? All the best female boxers are in MMA. That's a fact. So when Clarissa Shields says that she's the best female fighter she's the goat and notice how she tries to put herself still above amanda nunez while claiming she still got uh respect for her and whatnot the best female fighters are in mma so how can you say that you are the goat the best woman boxer when you don't have the bodies or the competition to be able to test your metal to be able to actually say you are the best female boxer the best female boxers are in MMA. That's a fact. As a matter of fact, I'll name three MMA female fighters that are better boxers. One is, uh, what is that? Uh, Valentina Shevchenko. Great hands. Great hands. Better boxer than Clarissa Shields. Hands down. If you don't believe me, go watch some of her fights. This girl is a better boxer. Okay? Who else is a better boxer than Clarissa Shields? Thug Rose Namajunas. That's my girl, too. Thug Rose got skills. She is the most sound female as far as fluency and movement. I mean, I know she just took a loss uh, recently, but she actually got skills. If you don't know who she is or you haven't watched her fight, go watch her fight. She all hands anyway. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, uh, she mixes up her styles good too, but she's all hands. Okay. Um, what other fight? It was one more. Oh, um, Holly Holmes. You know what I'm saying? Holly Holmes, to me, is a is a better boxer than you. You know what I'm saying? And if she's not a better boxer than you, 
she's definitely on the same level as you. Definitely. And matter of fact, Holly Holmes started out in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So to me, if you want to call yourself the greatest female fighter, boxer of all times, you have to be put in there with the top competition. And female boxing doesn't have the top competition. If you go back to Clarissa Shields' Instagram or whatever, and the time that she got into it with uh, Layla Ali, which is super blasphemous and disrespectful in itself, but I digress on that. She said herself while she was sitting in her Jeep, she admitted out of her own mouth that she has not fought the best competition, yet at the same time talking about how she's the greatest. If you don't believe me, go check the track record, okay? It's the video where she's sitting in the Jeep and she's driving and she's talking about um, uh, Layla Ali and how she would beat her up, you know what I'm saying, a retired person. So if it's not about you hating on other females, you sure seem to go at people who stand as an ambassador for your cause. You know what I'm saying? Layla Ali was great for boxing. You had something to say about her. Uh, Amanda Nunes is great for female fighters and the image of female fighters. Now you got something to say about her. You come across as a jealous, sour individual, you know, who really don't want to put in the work to get recognized that, but you want to get paid like men get paid. But besides Lomachenko, I don't know nobody who could fight three fights and become a champion, you know what I'm saying? Or become a champion in 12 fights. And then that be the same person that met out their own mouth that they have not fought the best competition, but yet say they are the best female boxers. No, the truth of the matter is Amanda Nunes would smoke you. She would smoke you. You can't, I'm going to put it like this. Didn't you get robbed by Gabriella? What's that girl from Costa Rica? Um, I, I, I can't remember her name. Um, pretty, very good looking. Uh, her name was Gabrielle something. It, it'll probably come to me later. Um, she put you on Wobble Street and uh, got you out of there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what makes you think that you can handle the lioness. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But the best female boxers are in MMA. They're not in boxing. So to me, if you want to test your men and prove that you are the greatest woman fighter because of her, you're saying you're a better fighter than her, period. And this is the other thing that I want to say. It's actually mm, lucrative. Since you're all about money and getting paid, it's actually lucrative that you do a crossover with the MMA fighter because you don't have the stars or the bodies in boxing to warrant the kind of money that you are requesting just like these men are getting. So actually, it's going to take you fighting a super superstar MMA female in order for you to get that penny. As a matter of fact, uh, the Lioness versus T-Rex would make money. That would actually make money and it will help marry both of the worlds. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I tell people, the more MMA and boxing fans marry onto each other world, the better it is for both sports. Because seriously, I don't see how you could be a boxing fan and not be a little bit interested in MMA. And I'll see how you can like MMA and not be a little bit interested in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So the two feed off of each other. That's why MMA fighters are always talking about boxers. Because boxers get more attention and revenue. So they take that and try to attract that to MMA sports by talking about boxers. You know, Anderson Silva, uh, Roy Jones Jr., uh, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, Ronda Rousey, uh, Floyd Mayweather, and then didn't somebody recently come out talking about they want to fight Anthony Joshua, and then uh, Henry Cejudo and um, Lomachenko got a little thing back and forth, even though that's just a... Um, even though that's just to hype both of them two up. Um, them two would never fight. Uh, Lomachenko just talked about retiring not too long ago. So I don't know what made people think that he would go into MMA. That's simply to boost both of their profiles. It's, it's a business move, but I'll explain you know, that shit later. But, yeah, you need to fight an Amanda Nunes to get those kind of paydays that you want. And it would actually be a good look. So if I was Clarissa Shields, I would go about pursuing that. Because boxing doesn't have the stars and the bodies and the revenue that she needs, but she can generate that revenue with Amanda Nunes. But as long as you do realize even in a boxing match, Amanda Nunes would be the A side. You know what I'm saying? Because the reason why Clarissa, Clarissa Shields is saying something is because she's recognized that Amanda Nunes is more popular than her. It's true. More people know who Amanda Nunes, Nunes is, is Clarissa Shields. And Amanda Nunes is taking the shine off the dominant female fighter, which Clarissa Shield was actually holding that light kind of by herself until Amanda Nunes. So it's actually out of hate, but it would actually be good for her lucratively to 
pursue fighting an MMA fighter, a female MMA fighter. Either one of those ladies that I just named. Um, I don't know exactly the weight class, but I think, um, shit, uh, Clarissa Shield can make multiple weight classes. You know, you know what I'm saying? She's, you know, what I'm saying she's a husky girl and she can lose weight. So, you know, what I'm saying um, she can fit in anywhere. But I think her against Rose. I mean, not Rose, but um, uh, Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes will stomp you out. Period. And I'm talking about in boxing. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think you could beat her in boxing. Could you be technically more sound and stuff like that? But I guarantee you she hit harder than you. I guarantee you she hit harder than you. But anyway, so that's just my thoughts on it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.